What's going on everyone? My name's Tenebris Infinite and today we are going to be doing something super fun here in Generation Zero and we are going to see if you could beat the main game with only the starter bow. We're going to start the game up, go off, pick up our bow from the plundra, and see if that bow can't carry us on through all the way to the end credits after we place the bomb at Von Ulmer's feet. I guess in Von Ulmer's scenario, potentially digitally constructed feet, but still, either way, I think this is going to be a very fun challenge. While we go through this too, I'm going to kind of just talk about the plan for this. We have a very simple goal of just completing the main campaign, and we aren't going to have any difficulty modifiers like, you know, no med kits or no adrenalines or an Iron Man challenge or anything, but I do think that in the future you'll see more videos like this from me. Uh, this is something I've always kind of kept as a bit of a rainy day uh, content kind of concept here, but I think with the bow coming into the game, it, it makes it a little bit more spicy than just your average rainy day. So we make it to the shore, injured, but alive. Alright, here we go, man. So, the cool thing about Generation Zero is that you don't actually have to do a large number of the quests throughout the game. You especially don't have to do them in, like, a strict order. There's only a handful of kind of necessary uh, missions throughout the game. So we're going to come in here to Itervik really quickly just to pick ourselves up some med kits and some adrenaline just to give ourselves a little bit of survivability. Getting almost spotted right off the bat. The machines are angry. They're angry this time. It's cool. Now, we do have to avoid the yellow scan. It does allow the machines to detect you faster. Dang it, I tried to loot the box, and I picked up the shotgun. Out of there. Get out of there. Filthy shotgun. After picking up Sanctuary, I think that that's all the experience we're really going to need in this early game before we start getting experience from the main quest line. So it's now time to make a big bike ride across the archipelago and get started with the main quest line proper here. The fog set in like right once I got over the Salt Fallen uh, bridge there. Big sad. I was enjoying the nice weather. But we're coming up on our first kind of mandatory mission here. And it's not going to Salt Ham. Even though Salt Ham would be a really nice safe house to stop off at. Uh, we aren't going to. Because <laughs> we've just got Veslin here. We're getting torn up by doggos as we go along. Let's heal really quickly. Use the explodey arrows. Oh, hey. Use the explodey arrows. There we go. <laughs> and let's really quickly pick up the uh, message from Major Bowman there. Grab the map. And we are scot free. Time to find Veslin and break our way on in. It's a little bit more harrowing doing this all with a bow. But on the other hand, I think it's actually really well suited for like multiple applications here. Because we'll be able to use our kind of flareos here to distract the doggos if they don't run directly past me. What the heck? Okay. Out of stamina. Marksman specialization. I need you. Great. Now let's get the power turned on. We're gonna have the machines kind of waiting outside for us after we're done this, but we should be okay. Should be able to sneak out past them, I think. Now, flareos. 
let the ticks kind of just deal with each other there. Turn on the power. And get to the command center, man. That felt pretty good, man. I think that that was pretty quick timing. What are you doing in the bin? All right, so there is mission one done and dusted. Mission two is making our way off to the naval center in order to try to establish some contact here. It's always so trippy having that doggo up on top there. It's like, how'd you get up there, man? All right, I have a kind of deadly trap planned here. Potentially deadly for me. Yes! Did that get them all? It did! Sick! Alright, with our garbled Soviet radio message, as well as the map in tow, it's time to get off to the second radio mast and continue our quest to clear the airwaves. Oh man, the spooky! Man, the dilapidated N9 is grisly, dude! Our aero supplies are kind of whittling away here, so, uh... Unless if our plunger's been duplicating a whole bunch of arrows for us, which I'm not going to try to bank on. Um, but if that is the scenario, uh, then we should be okay. But otherwise, we might need to farm. We do still have about a hundred other flaros sitting back in there, though. Because for some reason, the game was like, extra flaros for this guy. But... Here we go! Radio Mass 2! But I do! Well, it absolutely has. I don't need. I don't need almost 700 flaros! Now, I might hate myself for this later, but I'm gonna pass up on the Asso camp coming into the farmlands because we don't need it and it's not in like a beneficial spot for us or anything. So we're just gonna kind of brazenly fly on through the farmlands here and try to make it off to the um, mountains region. And brazenly flown we have. I haven't picked up a safe house since Nora Sultoman, so I decided to stop off at the ring for it here. Uh, but now, after making our way through pretty much like 75% of the farmlands, at least for this leg of the journey, we're going to have to make our way on over to Utern to complete the next part of the main quest line. Getting into Utern is another relatively easy scenario, just like back at Veslin. Uh, we're going to just kind of shoot off a flare here and try to draw the machines out. There we go. There's barcode number two. All right, well, for some reason we didn't get three doggos off at U-turn. So we're just going to get our third barcode right here. Alright, making our way through Utun here. It's a pretty similar state of affairs. Our flareos are coming in super handy in these close quarters situations. And then for everything else that we can't deal with, we have our explosive arrows and our standard arrows. As well, the stealth from this really, really is beneficial. Because we don't wind up aggroing like all of the machines in the bunker. That was close. Oh, dude on. That was very close. Jeez, man. 
I don't have a gas mask or anything, so we're just gonna have to kind of run through here, flip on the power, and get out of here as quickly as possible. In order to get in here, though, we've got a couple doggos in our way, a couple more doggos. Doggos are very easy to deal with with the bow, though. Just one quick shot to the fuel cell. Sometimes when they get all jerky and stuff, it can be kind of hard to track with the bow, but most of the time, if you catch them when they're standing still, it's very easy. Where's this guy at? Are they in here? There's normally like three other doggos. I think they're stuck inside the wall. <laughs> wow. Well, at least we don't need to take care of them in order to interact with the warboard. Boom. There we go. And radio silence. Finally getting a skill point into our hip shot accuracy is going to be huge moving forwards too. All right, we're getting to the Rusaberg at uh, radio station just as the sun is setting here. Let's let our stamina recharge. All right, let's hit him from this side. There we go. Now the group of them should be kind of slightly damaged from the few explosive arrows that we shot off in the first place. Excellent. Those sniper guys, man. The worst! Oh. There we go. Sweet! Now with Uturn out of the way, we can get to what I consider to be some of the best missions in the main quest line of Generation Zero here. Okay. Alright. So this duplication bug is out of hand. This is out of hand! 36,000 napalm! What am I gonna do with that? A thousand flaros! Why? But we came on over here to Boo, not just for the safe house, also, for these ammo packs, because that's going to supply us with hopefully enough explosive arrows to get through any big machines that we might come across here in the final stages. We got a little bit of a battle going on here in Hagaboda that I think we'll be able to take advantage of. Whatever machines are left after this fight will be softened up enough For us to finish them off. We might even have enough machines around here to loot. The question is though, Spetsnaz, Lynx Boyos, or Prototype Tonk? Whoa! Alright, let's stay real far back here. I'm thinking it'll be better if we help out- ooh, jeez. I'm thinking it'll be better if we help out the tank here. Instead of trying to take out just the Lynx. I think we're in a pretty good spot here. Freaking bus stop sign. <laughs> the 
Yes, flamethrower boy. Coming in with the assist. Died. Freaking hurt so bad, man. And for some reason, this prototype tank is just going the mile. There we go. Jeez, man. Now you. Huh. Something I haven't tested yet. Do Soviet machines drop barcodes? I don't think they do. And it would make a lot of sense if they don't. Yeah. Cool. Nice little touch to the loot pool. We have made it in. Now, the nice thing about Hermelininen is that the only thing in here are ticks. There's no actual real serious like threatening machines. So getting through here will be very, very easy. We do have to go to the correct door though which I believe is just around on the other side. Keep all of them distracted with the shiny objects. We got plenty more flaros, a thousand some odd of them, sitting in our friggin' plunger if we need them. All you need are friggin' flares in here. Maybe a couple EMPs. And again, finding our way in the bunkers is very easy nowadays. We could just ignore that tick that we ran by. Yeah, there you go. Alright. Into the power room? I think I want to pop... A med kit before I go on in here. And there we go. The power is on. To the warboard. There we go. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Pardon me. Coming through. Ticks are dealt with. Oh, ticks are dealt with. The nice thing about the flareos, it seems to make the Phoenix tick boyos just explode like right away. Which is nice. Excellent. I think I think we have to do both of these missions. I'll have to double check that. But we're gonna start with science of deduction. I like starting off with science of deduction because it requires just a little bit more legwork than uh, loud and clear does. So getting that out of the way first is kind of like I don't know, biting the bullet sort of. This is also part of the reason why I ditched my bike so early on. That way, it's just like right out here at the road. Uh, when I need it. Give me loom ball boils, come on. Let's get this, get the right mission tracking here, jeez. And uh, pop on over here to the FOA entrance. See if we can't maybe draw the machines over near that car there. Kind of explode them with it. We're going to get denied for the second time today. Pop a medkit. Buddy. What the heck? Okay, and we should be safe because of the arrow's low engagement range. The other machines that aggroed on us earlier should no longer be aggroed on us. Science of deduction, clue to? Uh, Axel Son, this here is Ulla. We were trying to flytta from Ulmers Vita. Flytta på bilen, eller? Den har stått there nästan two weeks now. Well, at least she just left the keys there, and then everyone else just left the keys there as well. <laughs> 
That's cool. You'd never see that out in the Western world here. That car would have been stolen 30 days ago. All right, there's a lot of machines out here. Nope. Oh. Take that. Oh, dude. There are a lot of machines here. I think we're going to use these EMP cells to get to the car. Use the flareos too. Man, let me take him. Boom. Yes. Signs of deduction. Dude. <sighs> All right. Empty spaces. Let's go. All right, dude. And just over here is Kun's Garden. Didn't take us too long to run on over here, but I could have put my bike in a better spot, probably. Oh yeah, I totally forgot, there's now this giant rock at Kun's Garden, so you gotta, like, parkour your way up. Oh, dude! Oh, and I bonked my head off the thing on the way down. Man. That was gnarly. Okay, so I don't have any med kits here. So I need to be pretty careful so as to not die. Haven't died yet. The goal wasn't for this to be deathless, but it did somewhere, it, it became that somewhere along the way. Oh, come on, dude. Shifting all over the place. I don't think there's too many doggos left. Actually running into a surplus of explosive arrows here, which is kind of nice. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay, so one mild concussion later, and we can make our way on into Kun's Garden here. There's a couple tick boyos that we'll want to take care of here. Uh, we're gonna need to get the key card, which is just upstairs, I believe. There we go. Destroy the freaking computer in the process. Von Ulmer's safe key, there we go. Oh, there we go, as I picked up a couple more things, the mission has completed. So... From that point, uh, I think that we now have to go off and clear uh, loud and clear. And this is where Albie Church comes in like an absolute MVP. Okay, so it's time for loud and clear, and there's a couple machines that we've got to clear from the area first before we can get off to the tick that's jamming the signal. So we've got, what, one hunter, two doggos? Sometimes there's a third hunter, or a second hunter, <laughs> jeez, uh, but seems like it's just the one. I will take it. Let's get him real confused here. Real confused. <laughs> He's like, where do I go? Uh oh. Stop it with a sniper. Now that the machines are cleared out of the way, though, we can come on down here and pick up uh, the key. We're really lucky, actually. Sometimes there's a harvester that spawns right by this thing, and that makes getting the key pretty, pretty tough to do. Uh, at least without getting exploded in the process. There we go. There's the storage key. 
We will use our 69th Flaro for the sake of good. I definitely forgot that Skvarden existed for a second there. Whoops! So we gotta go on over there and clear that so that we can clear up our final radio tower. Okay, so coming into the marshlands here, I think we're gonna try to get our uh, key cards here as quickly as possible, just kind of right off the bat. Sweet. Now just the doggos. And I think we'll take down this, um, relay beacon too. It's kind of cool that there's like a Phoenix relay beacon here deep in Soviet territory. Ah, uh, jeez. Alright, let's soak up those free experience points. Alright, working our way on through. Jeez, dude. Hunter was really out to kill us there. Okay. Oh, dude! Hiding in the corner! You cheating bug. Well, let's go in here and uh, turn back on the power. There it is. Uh, and then that one. The power is restored. Observera, vår beredskap är under måling. Huvuddelen av bataljonen har ännu inte rapporterat in. Fiende siktar även med södra hotfältet nu. Okänd angripare, det är... Well, that's kind of trippy. Okay, so, well, now we're coming up on the final radio mast here. Let's see if we can't just blow up the entire place here. I can't remember if there's any, uh, explodables. Doesn't quite seem so, though. It's okay. We'll work our way around the back end of the warehouse here. Yeah, there aren't any. Dang. <laughs> I was gonna use those. Alright. Flaro time. Now, tick should just be up top here. Not that one. This one. Got him. All right. Let's use this radio here and see if we can't establish some contact. We may have limited contact, so please listen. The Soviet Navy has been monitoring the situation in Sweden and together with NATO, we are offering assistance. We believe we have identified the source of the aggressor and can provide a device to disable the machines. We will deliver this device to the estate of Fulmosted on the northern coast. Please proceed there immediately. More intel will be provided on site. Repeat, the jetty at the estate of Fulmosted, west of Haga border. We will provide a device to... It's pretty cool. 
pretty cool. It's like everywhere that ends with lands in Generation Zero is a war zone. But I think because of the war zone, we can kind of enterprise on the opportunity and just grab this bomb without anyone being none the wiser. Do have to be careful though, because this entire place is rigged to explode. All right, let's get the med kits. These would have come in handy a lot earlier. <laughs> there we go. Does it want us to pick up the, the filthy AK? No, out of here, get out of my inventory. I don't even want it. I don't even need it. The only weapon I need is a bow. Man, if this final bike ride is not feeling like a victory lap, Friggin' now all we have to do is make our way inside of the FOA facility, and that is that for this challenge. Friggin' Von Ulmer flexing off here. I could've killed you this whole time. Dude, we got a bow, man! We got a bow, you couldn't do nothing, man. We have flaros! The ultimate weapon! That's the washer. Where the heck is the... I made a wrong turn. No! It was a right, not a left. And I think we have to get, like, a key card? No, no, we just make our way on it. Yes. With all the people lined up on uh, beds and stuff. You know, as a kind of final aside, Von Ulmer is not the smartest of Bond villains. He turns off the power on you when you're in the room with the button to turn the power, like, right back on. So let's press... the button! Whoa, the blue! Okay. Oh, there we go. Now we go. The big, big escape. Yeah, and then they sent a bunch of other people and a bunch of other machines and stuff, dude. Oh. I think we could get out before this whole thing explodes, too. We should be okay. Yeah, we're totally fine. Look at that. <laughs> the door's closed and everything. <laughs> the game has been beaten! That is a success! Can you beat Generation Zero with a bow? Heck yeah! Can you get out before the explosion happens too at the end of the game? I guess so! <laughs> Oh, there we go. <laughs> I made my way pretty far from the FOA base there before that happened. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. Well, there we go. Not quite a speed run, but a successful challenge run. Against all odds, you wake up after the explosion to find yourself a safe distance from FOA 5 because you had run a safe distance from FOA 5 before the explosion happened. And let's see what the final score was. Yes! Zero deaths! 153 machines killed. That's more than I thought I killed along the way. But I guess, you know, there was a number of scenarios where, like, as I was stealthing, I was also kind of killing the machines at the same time. But that was a good run, man. There we go, dudes. A successful challenge. Challenge complete. A little bit of help from a funky duplication bug with a million flaros. But still, it was really fun completing this with just the bow. Uh, so hopefully you dudes enjoyed, and I will catch you all in the next one. Until then, peace.